I, I love to serve a salad on Thanksgiving. So sip of coffee, I'm going to get to work, and this is an easy one. Ooh, that coffee tastes good. Um, the other thing about this recipe is it's a make-ahead, which is really nice. As much as I can get done with ahead of Thanksgiving, the better. Uh, nobody likes to be stressed out in the kitchen. And they will know if you are. So you really can ruin the whole day. So I would say you don't have to do it all. Get some stuff done ahead of time. Put a game plan together. So cranberry salad. And this is yummy because it's kind of um, it's sweet, but cranberries are tart, and it's really refreshing. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually get some heavy cream whipping. And I've got one pint of real heavy cream. We're going to do that turkey trot or get some sort of exercise in the morning so that we can eat this guilt-free. But there's nothing like real whipped cream at the holidays. And we just took this stainless steel bowl out of the freezer, and you just saw me take the heavy cream out of the refrigerator. And that's the key to getting really nice whipped cream is cold bowl, cold cream. So I'm just going to let that hang out and do its thing. And I'm not going to add any sugar to that because we've got... Um, some sugar actually in the recipe, so we don't need to put anything else in with the whipping cream. All right, so I'm just going to give, this is one container of fresh cranberries, and I'm just going to rinse it off quick. You know, you can do more than just use cranberries as, in, you know, as that little side that you put on the table to dip your turkey in. I try and use um, cranberries in lots of different recipes during the holidays. Um, you know, I do, well, I did a cranberry meatball recipe recently and a cranberry chicken, cranberry pork chops, um, but this cranberry salad is really, really lovely. So I'm going to take these cranberries, and you could do this by hand, but it's a lot of work, and I'm always looking for shortcuts, especially during the holidays. I'm going to get them into the food processor. I'm going to check on my whipping cream. We're getting there. Turn it up a little bit. And I'm going to grind up these cranberries so that they're pretty fine. Sometimes you may have to kind of scrape it down a little bit to get these bigger chunks in here. But we're almost done. This would have taken a long time if I would have done it by hand, so that's why we're using the old food processor. The cream looks perfect and lovely. And we're going to get these gorgeous cranberries, which is so pretty and they just taste so great and this is so fresh, into a bowl. You know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, when people think Wisconsin, of course, they think cheese, right? beer, sausage, uh, but we are one of the top cranberry producers in, in the nation. So it's really great to be able to use Wisconsin cranberries, support those cranberry growers. All right, just want to get every little last bit out of there. Okay. How are you today, Miss Ann? Good. Getting ready for Thanksgiving? Are you cooking? Are you going to your parents? Going to my brother. Your brothers. Do you have to bring anything? I don't think so. Well, bring this cranberry salad. They'd like it. Oh, you're setting the table and all that kind of good stuff. That's okay, as long as you do something. But I also tell people... Um, oh, I'm bringing the wine, too. Oh, you're bringing the wine, or as long as you're bringing something. Uh, because, you know, uh, people always say, you don't need to bring anything. Just come. Just show up. They don't really mean that. <laughs> well, they probably do, but you got to bring something for the hostess, even if it's just a, a bottle of wine or a bouquet of flowers or a pumpkin pie or, or something. And I always ask, I always say, you know, really be specific. What, what do you need? And, um, you know, I like it when they're specific. So then I, I know I'll bring the cranberry fluff. Okay, so I'm going to drain this cranberry juice, but you know what? You don't need to throw that out. Um, I don't want to put it in there with the cranberries because it make the salad very watery, but you can use it in other things. Cocktails, lots of different things. So 
So this is one can of crushed pineapple, and I'm draining well. It's about a 15 ounce can. And I'm just gonna get that in there with those cranberries. Now I've got one cup of sugar. And if you like it sweeter, you can add a little more. So the sugar is to taste. Uh, I still like the tartness of the cranberries, a little bit of it. So we're gonna go with one cup. Goodness knows you've got plenty of other sugar and other stuff going on Thanksgiving morning. So basically this is one cup of sugar, one bag of cranberries that we ground up, one can of drained uh, pineapple, the crushed, and one bag of marshmallows. The mini marshmallows. Which are so fun, right? They're just fun. All right. Mix those all together. Now at this point, you want to get this, cover this guy up, get him in the refrigerator. You could do this the day ahead. So we've got one already done in the refrigerator. And what that's going to do is those flavors are really going to come together. And then you finish it off right before you serve it. So let me show you. Here's our one that's done. And now we're going to fold in that yummy homemade whipped cream. OK. And nuts, but they're optional. Some people don't do nuts. Some people, you know, are worried about other people coming to their Thanksgiving parties that are allergic to nuts. So you can completely uh, leave the nuts out unless your your family's okay with nuts. Um, and you, if you want to do the nuts, you can do about a quarter cup, quarter to half cup, of chopped pecans or walnuts. I happen to like the nuts. We're going to throw them in there. So basically, you fold in this heavy cream and those nuts right before serving. And this makes the most delicious salad. Something a little different. And I think your family is really going to love it. And you don't want to mix it too much because you want it to be fluffy. It's... All right, and I've got a real pretty bowl. I'm actually just using our trifle dish here. But any kind of a, a pretty bowl will do. And then I, I like to pile it on in there. There's a little bit for you to lick, munch on there. Uh-huh, Ann. Don't say I never did anything for you. And then you can garnish with um, maybe a little whipped cream on top or a little bit of fresh mint and cranberries. And there you go, it's my cranberry salad. A really, really fun salad to serve for Thanksgiving. Very easy and it's a make ahead, so you gotta love that.